Welcome back everybody, this is Madden, and I want to lecture you today about uh, folders and structures in an organized way. Uh, as time progresses, uh, I accumulated a lot more assets than I thought, and at the time I'm at around 2000 assets at, at this point. And you can see here already that uh, these assets are quite structured, quite structured in a way of folders. So I have uh, dozens of different, uh, yeah, basically um, folders for world, uh, world painter and yep that i can access and manage uh, all the assets through and to show it a little bit more in detail we have in my server folder we have the plugin then we have the world edit then we have the schematics uh, then i have a subfolder for just for me and then i sub uh, subsorted it into uh, server assets a few test ones then the assets for uh, my world painter files so this is Okay, this is my final folder. There we have the main structures basically that I uh, went for. So of course there's sometimes that I just a bit too lazy and should uh, clear this up in, <laughs> in, the mean, in the meantime. But um, if we go ahead with the rocks, we can see if this would be all together, uh, just like this, this could be a bit more hard to figure out uh, where where something is placed in here. This is, the rocks uh, are Probably also a bad example because <laughs> they could be also structured way better. Yeah, this Plains Village, the jungle trees, they're all in separate folders to make uh, life a bit more easier. But not all the assets are uh, made with uh, schematic. Uh, some of my assets are generated with the structure blocks to, uh, to create MBT file. And therefore I have basically uh, the same philosophy, but I have just the Plains Village then as a folder. And from there on, I have the, the file name. If we go to my uh, world folder where all the assets are stored, I have generated, Minecraft, structures, and then I have here all my, yeah, my folders where everything is placed in. So I have the plane, Plains Village, and this is all my uh, of my assets. Of course, um, there are more. Uh, there are the default ones that I'm just currently go through, but you can also get them uh, from the Minecraft jar. Mm. But uh, the same goes for as well. I did it. I make our selection, select, and then copy our VR. Copy, um, save, and then we can undo our folder structure. Free. And this would uh, basically the uh, subfoldering uh, for uh, our sound tree. I also have like a little bit more um, exaggerated uh, folder structure for this uh, type of asset with a way more uh, declarative um, asset name just to uh, find it more easily. And here in our uh, folder structure, uh, we have Madden, Essence, More Painter, Swamp Trees, uh, Asia, yeah. and there and there I have my, my Swamp Tree. I just created or basically deleted in the last few days. I hope this helped you a little bit out uh, and helped you in, uh, in a way to organize your structures uh, and your folders uh, and files more easily. I'm sure I can do uh, better, of course, but uh, it's a pretty good start. And I hoped, um, I thought it, it could be maybe also useful to, for you to know that you can actually generate folder structures directly with basically stashes. <laughs> anyway, if you wish to uh, get more about uh, or learn more about uh, world engineering and map making, then uh, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for uh, new upcoming videos about uh, all the stuff here. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.